In the following example, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a video, an MPEG-4 in this instance, so that it responds uh, to the size of the browser being used. Now, I've readjusted the style sheet of the responsive demonstration from the last video so that now the test styles are actually reading as percentages and I've also made the widths bits well I've made them percentages in the different views and I've done that to exaggerate the effect for you so I've deleted the image and you'll notice that at the top we still have the uh, text that we put in initially which was about image object embed video maximum width a hundred percent now that means that if the video is 600 pixels wide it will display up to a width of 600 pixels but no larger and it will reduce in size according to the size of the browser window being looked at so now i'm going to come to the source code and we can see that there's actually nothing in that original red wrapper image anymore and i can come up to the top menu and go insert html and I'm going to insert HTML5 video. And this puts in the controls. So you can see there's video controls, opening tag, and closing tag. And in the properties panel at the moment, at the bottom, it's asking me for where the source is, where to get the video from. And in this case, I'm pulling it from my own library. And in fact, it's the demonstration video from last week. And with that inserted now, um, I leave the width and the height blank. Although the original is 640 by 480, I think, I want them to be blank in order for it to be flexible. And when I come to design view, it looks like this. And if I save the changes and preview in the browser, we can see that it's displaying to its maximum size. And as I reduce the size of the window, we can see the video also reduces. So it's a, a responsive video, but it won't go any larger than its maximum. And that's because I don't want it to distort. And we can see that it plays beautifully. I've created a, a rapid. That's all there is to it.